hey guys welcome to my youtube channel i'm gonna show you guys how i do a two-tone colored acrylic ombre this is my first time ever doing this particular nail design so it's not the best yet but you guys know practice makes perfect so here we go please i want to tell you guys also to bear with me because my own nails ain't done yet because i want to record a video of how i do my own nails also so that's why they are so crooked you guys i'm sorry so guys we already did prep and prime the nails off camera and then we also already did the pinky finger off camera um, I thought it was not necessary to record a video of how I prep and primed because I think most of us already know how to prep and prime but if you want me to record um, a video of how I prep and prime please let me know and I will try to do one for you guys I'm using a um, oval Kolinsky number no. 8 brush I like to use small brushes when doing um, colored acrylic nails because we can work more precise and without picking a lot of product. After I'm satisfied with um, how my nail look, I'm gonna encapsulate with crystal clear acrylic. When encapsulating, I can really eyeball the nail and tell how much product I need to do a one ball method. So that's what I did here. Over here, I want to show you guys these two colors I'm using for this nail set. I bought these two uh, colors at Curacao when I was on vacay and I visited a beauty supply store to buy some nail goodies anyway um on this finger we're gonna do the two-tone colored acrylic ombre and basically we are gonna start with the blue color first and fade upwards and when doing this you want to work um wetter than usual so your colors can blend nicely together so um we are gonna add as much until we are happy with our result and after that we are gonna encapsulate again when doing these particular nail designs i like to encapsulate with um transparent pink like because i, I think it's nicer it makes the colors blend nicer together but like I don't have any more so I had to work with what I have and crystal clear is all that I have I also want to mention that I'm not using my acrylic line in this video because I used all the products on my clients and there's nothing left anymore so that's why I'm not using them in this video um, I also want to tell you guys this is my first video ever for YouTube I decided to definitely open a channel right now I already did in the past but like I was kind of scared and didn't know where to start so I don't know I guess this is my time now and I started now so I hope I hope you guys are happy uh, I'm super happy to share with you guys anyway what I know and this is really my passion. I have been doing nails for really four years now, so I really love my job and I love all the comments of you guys. I really read everything. I love you guys so much. So anyway, I want to show you guys this index finger. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit like not crooked but you guys know after four or five weeks your nails are gonna lose shape okay most of y'all always ask me how do you shape your nails so i'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about it she already had colored acrylic on her nails and we filed everything down to put new colors on when doing that your nails are gonna lose even more shape so I'm not gonna foul most of um, us we are gonna foul the nails and then apply our product but I like to apply the product and when applying the product I like to give the nail a little bit of a shape with a product that that it's gonna make it easier for me to shape my nail again um, as I want and how I like 
and when how I like my nails to look and to be so what I call the perfect shaping okay so that's what I'm doing here I've built um, the nail back with acrylic and when I'm like happy with the results again we are gonna encapsulate with crystal clear So after our acrylic nails are dried, we are gonna give our nails the desired shape we want with a 100 by 180 grit nail file. After we are happy with our shaping, we are going in with this safety bit. It's a medium grid and it's available on my online web store. I'm gonna put the link in the description box below. When using a safety bait, you don't have to be worried about cutting your clients. You can easily go around the cuticle area and the sides without cutting your clients. After that, we are gonna buff the nails to remove any harsh lines or anything the nail drill could have left on the nail to make the nail smooth and ready for polish. When ready, I like to spray the nails with 90% alcohol and use my manicure brush to remove all the excess dust and any anything that could have been left on the nails so after that is done we are ready to use our gel top coat i'm using the gel top coat from louvain you guys can buy louvain at www.louvain.ca and i also have a coupon code for you guys and i'm gonna leave that in the description bar below
because my client wanted to have a um, galaxy hollow flakes on her ring finger we are not gonna top that off with a top coat because we want um, that particular nail to have a sticky layer so on that nail we are gonna use a base coat After all our nails are topped with our gel top coat, we are going to cure it for 60 seconds in an LED lamp. After all the nails are cured, we are going in with our flakes and a MAC pie applicator brush and actually what we are going to do is just tap the flakes on the sticky layer of the base coat. If you're interested in the holographic flakes, I also have that on my web shop www.cakesinknails.com. To remove all the excess flakes that stick around the cuticle area and the nail, we're gonna use our Magpie Duster brush. So after that is done, you want to use another gel top coat to top the flakes off because the flakes are going to stick on your applicator brush and you don't want to use the same brush onto the other nails. This is the finished result. I hope you guys liked it. If you liked this tutorial, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Snapchat. Until the next time, bye!